Wendy Rock and Roll Kale was a passionate and dedicated music journalist in Boulder during the 1970s and 80s. And now the Colorado Music Hall of Fame has inducted Wendy into the class of 2019 and posthumously awarded her the Barry Fay Innovation Award. Wendy Kale is the first journalist to be inducted into the Colorado Music Hall of Fame and her dedication to and support for the Colorado music scene is worthy of that honor. Wendy was born in New Jersey and moved west to Boulder in the fall of 1971 to attend the University of Colorado, where she studied communication. She was candid with friends in admitting that Boulder's reputation as a hotspot for emerging music and art was the main reason she selected CU Boulder as her university of choice. When she arrived, she found a prolific music scene happening at the university, catching acts like Jefferson Airplane, Savoy Brown and Marshall Tucker Band in the Balsh Fieldhouse, and Zephyr and B.B. King in the Glenn Miller Ballroom. Wendy knew that she wanted to be involved and found her way to the office of the CU Program Council, the campus group that was responsible for bringing movies and concerts to the campus. Wendy began as a general volunteer, hanging posters, working on production crews, moving equipment, volunteering for security, and sold tickets for the movie programs. But mostly, Wendy loved the music. She helped organize free concerts with local musicians, and she suggested bands to play at the enormously popular Friday Afternoon Club concerts at the UMC Grill. In 1976, Phil LaBelle became the director of the CU Program Council and hired Wendy to be the official PR director. She selected local talent to serve as opening acts for established touring artists and continued to find local musicians for FAC and other events. Among bands she helped in their early days were Big Head Todd and the Monsters, The Samples, The Subdudes, Chris Daniels and the Kings, and 16 Horsepower, to name just a few. In 1986, Wendy was hired to write a music column for the Colorado Daily. That column, Out and About, enabled Wendy to continue to do what she loved, attend local music events. And she specialized in finding and promoting new talent. And many emerging artists of that time credit Wendy with giving them the boost they needed. When E.W. Scripps company purchased the Colorado Daily, Wendy was one of three or four who were spared the inevitable purge and her work began to appear regularly in the Boulder Daily camera. Wendy continued to write for the camera until her untimely death in August of 2011. In addition to her work at the Daily Camera, Wendy was working at the Unity Church of Boulder at the time of her death. She worked helping to develop materials for the church's outreach and was beloved by the staff and congregation. It has been said of Wendy that she attended more concerts than any other person in Boulder. She was a true rock and roll journalist. It is an honor and a privilege to induct Wendy Rock and Roll Kale, the first journalist to receive the Very Fay Visionary Award and to be inducted into the Colorado Music Hall of Fame as part of the Going Back to Colorado Class 2019.